Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj. Today we will see how to install SQL Server 2014. In our previous video, we saw how to download SQL Server 2014 from Microsoft website. And we saw some options like uh, the Express Edition and the Full Edition. So here I have downloaded the SQL installer uh, for SQL Server 2014 RTM. And here is the extracted files from that cabinet file. So I'll just execute the setup.exe. Minimize the window. Okay. So I'll just select installation. And as it's a new installation, so I'll just select this link. New server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation. I'll click on this link. So this invokes the main install wizard. I'll close the previous ones. Okay, so here you have two options. If you have a product key, then you can specify it here. Otherwise, I'll just go with the evaluation addition. You can also go with the free express addition, but to get the full advantage of SQL Server, uh, like for 180 days, you can work with this. So I'll just select this, click on next. I'll accept the license agreement go through it okay so it asks for SQL Server updates so I'll skip it for now okay so here are some checks that it did uh, Windows firewall warning so we can ignore it okay so here are some options so this is the option that we are going with so with this option it will install SQL Server database engine SQL Server analysis services reporting services integration services the whole BI suite that we need and with some other features so the second option is for SharePoint and Power Pivot mode so we are not going to have with this uh, there's something else uh, so I'll just select this and click next okay so here are the features that you need to select you can select all but it's going to take a lot of space like around 6 GB but I'll just unselect all and only install the required things that I need to run my SQL queries. So database engine, full text search. And if you want reporting services, you, you want to work on SSRS, you can uh, uh, check up, check these. And uh, integration services, SSIS packages, you can enable these. But I'm just going to work on SQL queries. So I'll, I'll I have just you know check this database engine services full text search and management tool basics and management tool is complete that's it I'll just go, so and this is going to take just 2.6 GB of space click next okay so now the instance so this is a uh, first time I'm installing SQL server so it will allow one default instance otherwise if I had already installed so I would have gone through this option named instance and I have to give some other name but as I said, uh, it's the first time, so I will go with the default instance. Instance ID will be same, Microsoft SQL Server, default. Service accounts, uh, you can configure the service accounts, you can even change it. And the password, if you want, uh, you, you can even specify the passwords for those service accounts. But for now, um, I'll just leave them as it is. Coalition settings, I'll just keep them as it is, I won't change it. So that's okay for me by default. Click next. Okay, server configuration, Windows authentication mode or mixed authentication mode. So it is like Windows authentication plus the SQL server authentication. Uh, I'll just go with the Windows authentication mode. That is the login ID that is required when you log into your Windows system. I'll add that user here at current by clicking on this add current user. Okay, so the Windows authentication user has been added here. Uh, let's check the data directories tab. Okay, so if you want to place your uh, these directories on some other folder, then you can change it here. Uh, file stream. So if you are going, if you are thinking to work with file streams, then you can just enable them. So I'll go back and I'll just click next. Okay, so the everything that it needs to uh, install, it has asked and we have provided and we are 
ready to install SQL Server. Just click on the install button and you are good. So this is going to take some time. Okay, so it has successfully installed SQL Server and you can see here uh, succeeded message status and it takes around uh, normally 10 to 15 minutes or maybe 20 minutes depending upon the speed of your PC. Now you can close this. Okay, so as we have successfully installed SQL Server, so I'll open the SSMS now. I'll go to my start screen and go to the apps installed, type SQL. Okay, so here is SSMS. I'll pin it to the start and as well as I pin it to the taskbar so that I can easily open it. So it is here and it is here also. I'll move it up. Okay, so I'll just open SQL Server 2014. Okay, so server type database engine. So uh, as we specified a default instance, so it took my machine name, Manoj Pandey Dell. Uh, just connect it. And here you can see in Object Explorer the instance name. Uh, databases, right now there are no databases. Security, everything, SQL Server objects. In the next video, we'll see how to attach or restore the uh, SQL Server sample databases like AdventureWorks. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please provide your comments. Thank you.